First off, we have Nick Vial says, every guy thinks about being a bachelor. And I'm actually really excited to hear your viewpoint on this, Mike. But um, I think that that is true. I don't think that, I mean, I think the way that Nick explains it, it's just very real and transparent. At the end of the day, we all, you know, sign up or we get nominated to go on to this experience. and whether it might not be your initial thought, but it could be somebody around you that does kind of instigate like, hey, you could possibly be the bachelor or the bachelorette, you know, at some point. And it could just be people being excited. Um, But I don't think it's a far-fetched idea that at some point, every single person has thought they could either be the bachelor or the bachelorette. What do you guys think? Baby, go ahead and get your thoughts out because I'm coming heavy. I'm oh, coming shoot. Heavy. I'm scared because he's was ready. Really we were talking serious. about this just a little bit before and he's he's just ready to give me what he's he feels. Burrowing um, his eyebrows. I'm going to give it to you. I have to agree with you, Taisha. It's funny because my exact thoughts before reading what Nick Vial said um, to US Magazine was how many times doesn't it happen where someone submits to be on The Bachelor or Bachelorette and then your friends immediately just like jump the gun and say like oh what if you were the bachelorette imagine or what if you were the bachelor can you believe it so i think for people who watch the show and are familiar with the format it's a natural it's it's a thought but just because you think about it doesn't mean anything doesn't mean that you actually like you know that's the only intention of you going on the show right so i have to agree with you i totally agree with nick vial on this one um of course you know now with everybody with like social media and all the nuances there's definitely people who do go on for quote unquote the wrong reasons but i don't think having that thought is automatically blacklists you as the person that's here only for that so well before we get to this episode i kind of feel bad for thomas interesting i do okay that's an I interesting think- take. Mike cannot wait, but yeah. I have to make another point before. Can you hold on? Can you I hold got on? You. I'm okay, hold okay, it. okay. I'm hold it. I'm hold it. This is the thing. I feel like you can also clearly tell when there's like a hidden agenda or there's like another mm-hmm. purpose behind, you know, some people's motives at times. I think like for myself, like I never really watched the show, but I did watch it a few times with some of my girlfriends from high school. I used to always watch it. And I did attend one or two bachelor parties, whatever, and watched it. And it, sure, like girls always say like, oh my God, could you imagine if you were the bachelorette? And like at that point, I was in high school. So there's no way in hell that I knew that this was going to happen to me at one point. So that's what I'm trying to say. Like, yeah, at some point it's in people's minds. For me personally, when I went on to Colton season, that was nowhere near my mind like i had just recently gone out of a relationship i didn't know what was going on i was just truly going in with the intention of seeing if like i could find love with colton and so being the bachelor was truly the last thing on my mind but i mean after the fact i don't know i i I don't think that that was still like a thing in my mind yeah yeah so baby i do agree with you that uh the way they came at What's what uh, Thomas is? Thomas yeah. is a bit much, right? Uh, the reason I think that is because I personally appreciate honesty, and I think yeah. honesty should be rewarded to some degree, right? Uh, and then, secondly, look who the source is. I have all the love in the world for Nick Vial, but wasn't Nick Vial? And the reason I know this is because my roommate Connor is like, bro, you know nothing about Bachelor Nation. So we've literally right. watched a few different things on YouTube. Right. And I remember Nick Vial said, I forget who his bachelor was, bachelorette was. That's and didn't right. he say the most dumb shit when he said, uh, if you didn't follow, if you didn't love me, why would you sleep with me? He said that just to get clickbait. Like, so I, Nick, pay attention to the source for one. Nick Vial right. told me every guy wants to be the, that motherfucker's talking about himself. Okay. Yeah. And that's what love, the MF is what love. I love you, Nick. But that's just what it is. It's, it's that simple, right? From there, every person that says, oh, we think about being the bachelor or the bachelorette. Y'all, when y'all agree with, I'm sorry, when y'all agree with Nick, you're talking about yourself, saying that you yourself have thought about that. I don't care what y'all say, it's just the truth. Then, mm-hmm. that's wrong. He can't classify an entire gender of every guy thinks about being the bachelor by his own assumptions. That's so unfair. True. Someone True. like myself, I've 
never seen the show prior to going on the show. How could I want something when I don't even know that there's, I literally said this before, I didn't even know that was a position. Like, I just thought, Hannah Brown, I never watched Colton Season. Taisha, I've never seen you on Colton Season, right? Yeah. I literally thought it was like Matt James. They just pick somebody random. They, you know, no offense to Matt, bro. Yeah, you think they sense. pick somebody and they throw them in that position, right? That's literally what I thought. And then on my season, when I think, I can think of a few different guys who, you know, right-handed guy, I would say they didn't think about being the bachelor. Mateo is one of the guys, one of the sweetest guys. He has actually the best abs. And he yeah. never thought about being the bachelor. That's just something that never came to his mind. I never thought about that. We do have like four or five guys in our season that were talking like of what could happen. It wasn't about being the bachelor, it was just like business stuff or whatever. But it wasn't about being the bachelor. And so I'm twofold with it. One, I don't think there's nothing wrong with someone being transparent and saying, yo, yeah, I thought I would be the bachelor because I respect that. I respect it for my season when Jed told Hannah, you know, originally I came on here thinking it could help my music career. We saw what happened in that regard. But exactly. It always plays out. Yeah, there's it nothing always comes out. wrong with him saying that. I don't think there was nothing wrong with Thomas saying I thought about now where Thomas messed up. He has so many other red flags, like so many other red mm -hmm. flags. The previous episode talking about there's so much I want to tell you, Katie, then say it. Say it, bro. 